You know what makes me sick? You know what makes me so angry? I just want to die and go to heaven so EJ can point to me in the sky the first time he unhooks a bra with one hand. Have you seen a baseball game lately? Every player that dribbles a hopper through the infield gets to first base and then points to the sky. Every pitcher that strikes out a batter points to the sky. Who or what are they pointing at? Did a bird just plop on them? I know, I know they're supposed to be pointing to heaven and one of their dead, dearly departed relatives is up there. But, but if they're playing in a dome, does that still count as pointing to the heavens or just pointing to some squirrel or pigeon in the rafters? Now, let's say I'm in heaven. Am I really watching baseball games from that far away? Talk about your nosebleed section. In heaven, you'd have much better things to do than watch baseball. Let's say Marilyn Monroe, Jane Mansfield, Betty Grable, and Anna Nicole Smith are playing cloud volleyball. What are you going to watch? Hank Williams, Buck Owens, George Jones, or who knows? Say Wolfgang Amadela Mozart. They's having a concert. I'd check out that show for free. Or I could watch baseball. I could have cigars and scotch whiskey and buffalo steaks with Winston Churchill, George S. Patton, and Andrew Jackson. While FDR turns cartwheels and somersaults. What I'm saying to these guys pointing at the sky, I think it is the ultimate vanity to think that your granddaddy would rather watch you play a game than discuss, say, science stuff with Albert Einstein or listen to Sam Cooke sing or just look at Rita Hayworth up there in heaven. Stop bothering them. Wake up, America! Well, if Earl Jr. makes major leagues and I'm dead, he better not bother me in heaven. If I'm in a hot cloud tub with Marie Antoinette, last thing I need is climb out of that tub, wrap a towel around me because of Nick and start waving back at him. I'm Earl Pitts, American Pitts, off.